Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day and the day before and the day after. I'm so fake. What's up? <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> okay, for real. Um, so today I have, wait a minute, hold up. I forgot to tell y'all what to do. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to uh, follow me on Instagram, Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Don't forget to follow my blog, MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. Don't forget to join the chatter box, and the link is in the description bar. And, um, uh, okay, now we can get to it. So this baby is Levi by Bonnie Brown. A lot of you guys probably didn't even know I had him or some of you guys probably forgot that I've had him but he's been here for over four years I don't know exactly how many years um he is painted by Patricia Reborn Babies um Patricia and I go way back like um just from following you know starting out just like everybody else in the community following each other vlogs um I mean um videos and you know, just commenting on each other pictures, et cetera, et cetera. Then we met in person at the doll show. That's why the doll shows would always, you know, be so great because you actually get to meet people in person. And it's just, it's just an amazing thing. But um, I named him Baby Blessing. I had intended on giving him a, another real official name, but he's never been nothing but Baby Blessing. Uh, when I first got him... Um, I tell the stories real quick. Uh, basically, she was showing me work in progress pictures of her of her working on Levi. Before Levi came out, I was going crazy over Levi, the face. I wanted the Levi so bad because of the face. And I was so in love with the face. And then Bonnie, eventually, uh, Bonnie Brown, the sculptor, eventually showed the legs. I think she showed the feet or something and I love feet. And then she showed the legs and they were all curled up and I was like, oh no, 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 no. Cause I, I don't know if you guys know this about me. I don't tend to like babies with my dolls with very curled up legs and stuff. So I was like, oh, oh she just ruined it. You know, throwing a tantrum or whatever. And everybody's like, oh, I love the legs. It's so loving. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on a Levi. And me, I'm sitting there pouting going, she ruined it, <laughs> right? Um, but I was so in love with the face. I was just like, oh my God, that little sucky lip is so cute, right? And we know it's gotta be a hit because everybody in Emuma have sculpted babies with the sucky lip since then. But anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's move on. So so she's showing me work in progress pictures. I'm like, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute, you know? Oh, it's gonna be really cute. And she was like, oh, he's almost done. It's almost done. So she was like, um, and then one post she was like, well, yeah, when he's done, I'm going to send it to you or whatever. Like, um, he'll be ready. She, well, she said he'll be ready. And, so, and I'm thinking, like, ready? Like, I was like, oh, okay. But still, I'm so dingy. I never understood that she meant she was actually sending him to me. She was making him for me. And so, um, sure enough, she said she was sending him to me. So I was all excited, right? But I was not prepared. And the live stream is still up, guys. If you look at some of my oldest videos, if you click on there, you'll see. I was not prepared. Because the photographs that she had taken, no offense to Miss Patricia, but they were like, they were nice enough for me to say they were nice. But they were like, compared to what he looks like in person, it was like, it was like going from one level of artistry to a whole nother level when I actually seen him in person, I was like, okay, Miss Patricia, she, she holding that over there, right? I'm like, this chick over here doing her thing, 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 thing. And I'm sitting here like, what? So I was so amazed. Um, the biggest part about him that I love so much and the camera never really fully gets it is... The coloring that she did on his feet oh my gosh his hands and his feet and the transition is beautiful and it's so lifelike the color 
um, and he's fully modeled and he has beautiful, beautiful, beautiful veining. Um, everything about him is beautiful. Um, she asked me, she said, if he gets to be shiny or something, you know, you could touch him up or something. Like, I ain't touching this baby. If I, if, if it came to that, I would lightly varnish him myself, but he ain't leaving me. So he is, I mean, I love the way she did his hands and everything. And like I said, he's been here for many, many years. Um, but he's, he's highly veined and modeled. The camera just doesn't really do him much justice. It's like it, it wants to pick up the reds more than anything in him. But he's really beautiful. Um, guys, you just have to trust me on that. Uh, but yeah, if I ever did any, like a thin varnish over him, that would be it. But I, I, I don't think I will touch him. I think he's fine. Um, but yeah, so that's my baby blessing um i he had on hand mitts um and sometimes i keep him on on hand mitts because since he's all curled up i like him to be baby baby but this like takes me into my next topic um we all collect for different reasons and some of us collect for multiple reasons now i'm gonna move him over to uh here because I'm gonna move uh, Charlotte over here and get get her changed. She's weighted really nice too, sweet baby. I lo I love him. He's always you guys may not see him, but he's always always um out where I can see him. So a lot of babies you guys don't see as often. Doesn't mean I don't love them or they're not being displayed. Um, but you have to keep in mind, some of us collect for YouTube or for show. And then some of us collect for, some of us collect for our own personal pleasure. And I tend to collect for my personal pleasure, but there are some babies I do use mainly just to show on I not that's not the reason why I collect them, but some babies I just that's what I do. I just show them on on YouTube. So this is Charlotte, and Charlotte is the Alexis by Cassette Brace, and she was painted by me. Um, Charlotte is currently posted somewhere saying that she's for sale. Um, I I I really don't really want to sell her. <laughs> Every time I look at her, I love this baby. So, I don't know that 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 will last, you know? Like, I don't know. But this is not really a headband. This was came in a box opening. It was wrapping up a blanket, and I decided it matched her glittery outfit. And the bow on here was kind of like the same look. So I said, I'm going to make her a headband. And so I did. Um... But yeah, um, so like I collect for some babies I collect because I just love the sculpt and I love the realism, but they're not babies that I want to hold or, you know, love on or, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't gonna say love on, but you know what I mean? Like hold them, pick them up. I don't want to dress them every day. Some babies I collect because I just want to display them. I just want to admire the sculpting on them. Um, to me, Levi is one of those babies that, and I, I do follow someone that does um, have a couple people that have Levi's and they dress them so cute and they just, it they just so, it, it'd be so cute. But for me, I don't, that's not, that's not why I I love my, my, my Levi. I like my Levi because he's beautifully sculpted, beautifully painted by the artist. He's a special baby. He was a gift. And I just forever will love him. Um, but he is not a baby that I want to dress. Like all the time. So he wears, I do dress him off camera periodically. And he does have like cute little outfits here and there. But he's mostly just in that outfit for like sometimes six months at a time. Because I just want to look at him. So I collect for so many different reasons. There are some babies that I've collected because 
I admire the artists and I know that sounds crazy but I I know like say for instance if they are new and I know they're gonna be like amazing like they already starting out amazing they're gonna be ama even more amazing I might collect a piece of art from them because we all know once we blow these artists heads up <laughs> and I do mean that once we blow their heads up and tell them how great they are next thing you know their prices are beyond where we can afford them and I think also that but it's not fair not to give people their flowers and tell them how great their work is either and I see that happening a lot and I believe that's why it happened because they don't want them to blow up they don't want them to know that they're great so they can keep getting their work for cheap but is that really fair to someone that you that you admire work and their growth is that is that really fair that you hold them back like that i don't think that's fair so i i don't do that so what i do is i keep my hands on the the, the buy it now button why i can afford their work and continue to give them their flowers and as they grow I will continue to collect their work as long as I can afford it but once they go outside of my range I can no longer afford it and then I still you know um, congratulate them along the way with their success I mean you guys know I used to collect a lot of Claire Teller babies and stuff like that she she surpassed my 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 income of where I could afford her babies so um i still admire her work i i wish her you know the best um i when she puts out a kit that i can that i really like i will buy that one um and you know i go from there um so i support in those ways if she have a vinyl kit or a silicone kit you know i might support there but as far as like completed dolls they're beyond my budget at this you know point so i probably never will have a fully completed painted rooted <laughs> actual doll by by her and then there's others there's others um i will not really um there's there's reborn not silicone because i don't i've only to be honest, if I buy silicone, that's pretty much the only person I really, really love. Like, I had loved uh, painting and stuff. But, you know, there's a lot of other great artists coming out now. And I, 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 I see, you know, a lot of greatness out there. Since I've been, you know, looking around a lot more and stuff like that. But Reborns is one of the ones where now... I'm feeling it because the babies that I like in Reborns are the ones now that is like out of my reach. And I'm kind of like, oh man, I'm bummed out because I'm like, I can't even afford this, you know, or I'm not willing to sell everything I got to buy that particular one. Um, I would in the past, like if it's babies that I don't really love or, um, you know, because I am one of those people, I rather have one, one very detailed, beautiful baby that I love versus, you know, 10 or 15, mm, they okay, I just got them because I got a good deal type thing. I I will sell then, in, in that case. Or if it's something like I painted, it's like, okay, I could paint another one later. You know what I mean? Like, I am willing to sacrifice those, those things for a, a a higher priced baby but um yeah I just I just haven't um she said posing for the papa the mama Razzi. <laughs> I was gonna say the papa the mama Razzi. but um this little outfit came from um San San Babies um my sis Cassandra so it's so cute <laughs> but um but yeah I I I I hate when I hear people like shame other people for spending top dollar on their dolls and stuff because I know what it feels like for people to do that to you and I think we all collect for different reasons and we all have different budgets 
And even some of us, you know, and I say us, meaning just as a whole, some people actually have the money to buy the high, high dollar dolls, but they're not willing because they don't want to. And that's okay. But it's also okay if somebody else wants to or is willing to pay that price. I don't think that, you know, people should be running around, you know, like I said, I've had collectors tell me when I got my first expensive um, silicone baby, um, which was um, the was Kingston, people was like, I don't know how they sleep at night. I don't know if I, even if I had the money, I wouldn't spend it. You know, all these different things that people, I mean, they literally made videos and, and did this, you know what I mean? And just, it just went around from one collector to the next talking about the fact that, and they, they didn't really sugarcoat it enough to where it wasn't obvious that they were speaking about me and my doll. So it was like direct hit at me. And that, to me, that just bummed me out. Like it, you know, a lot of people want to talk about bigger channels. Oh, they're bullies. Oh, because they have a following. But nobody wants to talk about the little channels or the, or the people that think they're little because they're not that little of channels or the, the other collectors that come after, you know, just attack people just because they have a certain amount of subscribers or whatever, um, or a certain amount of influence in the community, they, they will come after them. Um, so yeah, it, it, it works both ways. Like I can respect the fact that you only want to spend $300 on a doll, but you have to respect the fact that I have, I might have a $3,000 limit on a doll, you know? Um, but I just think that we all have our different, you know, ways of collecting. Um, some of us only collect black dolls. Some of us only collect white dolls. Some of us only collect sleepers. Some of us only collect awake. Some of us only collect toddlers. Some of us only collect preemies. There's even a group that only collect cuddle babies. Some people call it micro preemies. I'm like, so like now I'm starting to find all these groups on Facebook of all these. Some people only like reborns. They don't want silicones. Some people only want silicones. They don't want reborns. It's just so many things. Some people like to collect their babies and put them in glass shelves. Some people, you know, um, or glass cabinets or cases. Some people collect their babies and they want to take them out everywhere they go. They want to, you know, bottle fake bottle feed, um, give them pacifiers. Some people want to give them breasts, but that's their business. I ain't getting into that one. But some people just, everybody have their different things of what they want to do with their collection or why they're collecting. Some people are collecting because empty nest syndrome. All their kids are grown and moved out and they you know, have nothing else to do with their time. So shopping and enjoying this hobby just fills that, that void. Um, some people do it because they don't have any children at all and never could have children and just want to have the fun of the shopping and the, the doing the nursery and all the other things. And they know it's not a real baby. Yeah. So don't, don't come at them and say, Oh, it's because they're, Oh, they don't have children. They're mental. They're thinking this a real baby. It'll never grow. And all these hurtful things that people say to people that's hurtful. Why would you say that to somebody, you know? So let people enjoy what they enjoy and how they enjoy it because it's none of your business at the end of the day. It's not going to make you, well, I, I won't say it won't, it might not make you more happy. It might make you more mad because, you know, jealousy is a real thing and hate is a real thing, but it shouldn't. It, you should not let somebody else's life affect you that much. Um, but yeah, everybody collects for different things. I am now like all over with my collection. Like I am really, really all over and I am loving where it's at. Um, even though I know I have babies going out um constantly right now um just because i'm getting my collection down to a very very small size so that i can be even more specific each year i think i get more and more particular about what i have in my collection and what i keep in my collection and i think i think guys you guys might not believe it but i think i am so close to having babies that will not ever leave my nursery because now i've fine-tuned it a little bit more and a little bit more and i know what I want and what I'm looking for. Like Joey, Joey won't ever leave 
leave my collection. You know why? Because he he's even though I say I'm not that big on armatures, I like that he stands. I like that I can stand him up in, in the room in the nursery somewhere and just have him standing there when somebody walk in the room and it's it's this toddler standing up there. I love that because growing up that's what I wanted. Babies posed all around my house. I love um Taraji because she's still cuddly and she's a big toddler but she poses wonderfully. Um so I love that. Um I'm not saying that to, believe it or not, I'm not saying Taraji is a, a forever baby, but I think she will because I model her after my real child, but we, we, I, I, I will not say that. I will say Joey will be. Um, I don't know, like, you know, my, my, I'm just, you know, I, I, I can't speak on the next day. Um, you know, I've had, uh, Paris Me Amour, Paris Me Amour been here for, oh, I think she's on her ninth year. She's been wearing this outfit. Let me, let me show y'all her. She's been in this outfit for probably almost a year. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see if I can. Whoa. Ooh, where am I going to lay? You got to go back in your basket. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put Paris Mia Moore in there. You guys don't see her that often, but she's been here almost nine years. She's always right. You see how quick it was for me to be able to just pick her up because she's right there. Um, she has three-fourth arms. So I have to, you know, adjust her sleeves and stuff. But, yeah. But she's been in this little outfit probably since last winter. Um, let me turn her around this way. I need to replace her earrings. Her hair is not done, but um, she's been with me forever. She's never going anywhere. Um, she was a baby that was painted by Yogi. Um, I went through a phase where all I collected was Yogi babies at one point. Um, and then I was Marlin Sweet Dreams, and then you know, and I do that. And now, like right now, lately I've been I've been collecting um, Bolero babies. <laughs> well, I only have two, but I, I expect to hopefully have more. But um, I like Angela Plucka. I like you know um, just different babies. I I, I like uh, Pickles and Tea. I I like what I like, guys. I like what I like. Babies don't always get shown lots of photos, but it's because I collect them for me. I'm a true doll collector. I love it. Um, I know um, it's something that that's always been with me. Look at this little guy. Um, I, I changed him the other day. I didn't put him on a. Um, I didn't put him on a uh, on pants yet. But I'm going to find him some pants. He probably will wear some type of jeans, maybe. But um, you guys don't see him as much. But I love my little peanut. Um, so he's right there. Um, and it, and it, it, it's, it's for no particular reason. It's just that, I don't know. I just don't tend to pull him out. I mean, Zora is, is next to him over there. Um... And I don't show her as much, and I painted her myself. But I, I, I love, I love what I love, guys. And I collect for different reasons. I love that um, Jersey, you know, artists reach so much, um, such a chocolate skin tone. Oh, look, I'll put him. Let me put uh, so you guys can look at his. This this shirt is a little long, so I'll put him. Hang on, I'll put uh. Zuri next to him so you guys can see her skin tone next to his so um there you have it as you can see so I, I have a variety of babies um in my collection so oh they look so cute together <laughs> Um, but yeah, look at that little foot sticking out. You little stanker. So yeah, so I, I definitely, um, I definitely collect on all types of little levels. Um, so yeah, don't, don't let nobody tell you how you should be collecting and what's, you know, that's a whole nother subject too. What's high end and what's not high end, you know? I, you know what? Every baby that I have is high end to me because I bought it 
because I love it and it means a lot to me and the value is high for me because I bought it and it and I, I bought it because it, it meant something to me and it held value to me. So there you have it. <laughs> um, even if I buy a boo-boo baby and it's something specific about that baby that I love, it's still a high-end baby for me because it's, you know, high value. If You know, I guess high-end because people think price, I'll say high value, but then there's high dollar, there's high quality. You can break high end down in a whole bunch of different ways. It just depends on how you're, how you define high end. Because mm, I don't know. I mean, I, I should look that up in the in the dictionary. How is high end defined? Let's see. We'll see, and I'll come back to you guys. Because right now I don't have Google uh, Siri in my ear to ask her and play like I'm smart and I already know the answer. Um. So for now, I'm just gonna have to. In this video, this has been a very long video and I don't even know how I got to all these different uh, topics, but here we are. I need to get Joey dressed. <laughs> I'm going to bring him over here real quick. I need to get him dressed. He's been had on this little outfit for the longest. It doesn't, it's not a nice outfit. Um, it doesn't really go or do him much justice. <laughs> He's like not matching, but he don't, he don't really care. Say, I don't really care. Do I? So my boy, but yeah, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to find him something. I need to really shop just specifically for his Joey, but I haven't had the time to do it. Look, her little head is off. Don't pay her no mind. Look guys, that's what that little armature thing looked like. You see it? Stick it up. <laughs> Stick it up when she have her little head thing. So that's that's her. She's she's got places to go. But look at this little boy. Look at him. That's to me. This is high end. The the level of the shading, the brows, the coloring, the undertones. That's that's deep. <laughs> that's good work. Um the hair rooting, everything, you know, it's a whole, it's the whole uh, package. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to go. I just thought I would show the babies, whichever ones I could pop in and pop out. I don't have time to get the other two over here, but we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.